Well, yeah, I'm out here with <laughs> Luke. <laughs> All right, welcome back to another episode of Cactus Quest. Today, we are out in the field. I'm with Luke Basulto, and uh, he is a conservationist and starting a, a podcast, which I'm going to be on today. And we are just getting out into uh, it's an area outside of Hellendale. And you want to tell us a little bit more about it? Yeah, so this is a uh, an area of critical environmental concern or an ACEC for short. Uh, this is dedicated to the Mojave fishhook cactus, uh, a yellow a yellow spined variety. And uh, hopefully we're gonna find it today. There's, I was out here about 10 years ago and found a couple of them. So that's what we're doing. All right, well, wish us luck. Let's see if we can locate this bad boy. All right, well, we're on this first road, which I don't even know, This should this be a road through here at all? No, right? Not this one, no. Uh, this is it, dude. This? Yes, this is it! Yeah. What the hell? Look at that. Dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, well, there we go. But this red. is not the yellow spine variety, I don't think. This is definitely reddish. Yeah, so, huh. and this is a sclero cactus. Polyancestrous. Polyancestrous. Yes. So, and if you guys follow me on Instagram, then you would have seen some of the pictures I just posted uh, of an Echinomastis johnsonii. That's a synonym for sclerocactus as well. And you'll notice in the video, I actually say I think it's a sclerocactus. So, uh, it's good to know I wasn't exactly wrong. That's awesome. This is a big one, dude. Yeah, that's weird. And you can see how, look. So, just look at this, dude. Yeah, one big track. <laughs> one big track. Uh-huh. And you're, I mean, it looks like, thank goodness, they stopped. But somebody who just wants to turn around right here could easily, easily hit this and squash it. And I'll tell you right now, a big fat-ass tire like that driving over this bastard, he's not He's not designed to protect against, uh, against off-road vehicles. He's not. He's, he's the only one that I, that I could see within, you know, at least... 100 feet. Yeah, if you look at the side of the road here, uh, you'll see how much erosion is actually coming off of this route. Uh, it looks like this might be an access to the power line, but even still, just vehicle traffic constantly coming through here. If you look behind the cactus, you have a lot of this loose, sandy dirt uh, kind of eroding down this hill, and it's almost burying this guy. So after a few more years of use and uh, erosion, this guy might be buried. Well, and right. if you look too, I mean, just directly behind you, yeah. there's tracks of somebody that's, they're not staying on the road. No, 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 that's all illegal. So, we got a Mojave fan favorite, the wrinkled ball sack cactus. A Puntia bacillaris. <laughs> so do you know what these little burrows are under here? Uh, yeah, those could probably be uh, pocket gophers, they could be, not wood rats. Wood rats would have the big mid. Pocket gophers are those those little chipmunk looking things that you see like darting uh, around. Those are uh, ground squirrels. Ground so you squirrels. Had, uh, yeah, antelope ground squirrels, white tail ground squirrels. Those are that might be him too. They're usually everywhere. <laughs> gotcha. All right. Yeah, Let's walk along this ridge line a little, like along the slope. So it's interesting that particular one had no. No nurse plant or anything, so it was just sort of growing out on the on the slope. So I wonder if we'll see. And it looked like he had flowered. Yeah. So this is Cor say it again? Corazanth rigida. Corazanth rigida, member of the buckwheat family. It's got kind of a spiny look to it. Not a cacti. Love and then the other member of the buckwheat family that you'll see growing out here is this guy. It's Desert Trumpet. The Desert Trumpet. Yeah. This little hollow, what'd you even call that? Uh, hollow stem? Yeah, there's, a, there's a, a better term for that, but. Uh, I'm not, I'm a little embarrassed to say I'm not a, uh, <laughs> not as, uh, not as fluent in the nomenclature as I would like to be, frankly. Not so this is this is the little marker right here just to de delineate the property line. Yeah. Okay. 
and you still wow look at this look at those two <laughs> look at the court yeah that's what i'm saying you want to talk about being a badass this is like i mean look at this look at that look at what's going on down here to explain it i i'm not capable but i would guesstimate it's been mauled by animals or something somebody has successfully torn this thing to pieces and even with all that in the face of such great adversity this kino cactus is still plugging along still photosynthesizing still still shading its stem with those crazy spines and surviving okay so i i we got some more here and dude this is it this 100 percent it look oh yeah <laughs> look at that yep. yellow yeah. spine form what's his status dead but this is it. We found the yellow spine form. And there's more here. So, huh. That's fucking awesome. Now this, yeah. they're all dead. Oh, man. Now what were you just telling me about the, this being one of the driest parts of the Mojave? Yeah, so the central Mojave gets an average of about a quarter inch of rain per year. Uh, the Mojave in general is, a, one of the, is, the, is the driest desert in at least the US, maybe the Northern Hemisphere. But where we are is the driest portion of the driest desert <laughs> in the Northern Hemisphere. Gotcha. So my thought is that any deviation in the rain uh, can be catastrophic to some of these things. Now this one actually looks more like, it's hard, still hard to say, dude, is it alive? No. Uh, Fuck. Yeah. I mean, everything here is already, you know sort of walking the knife's edge as is right right so you know it's it doesn't have very much room to or give either way if things go wrong the climate changes too fast rains change too fast these things have been so well adapted over the, the millennia that you know changes like that so drastic and you know sudden can be catastrophic like we're seeing here we're you know close to what 80 90 percent of the fish hooks that we found are dead uh at this point i'm thinking over 90 at this point i mean we've seen two living ones we found five dead ones right here so what we got here is a really good example of the kind of problem that we're facing with or the kind of problem that these cacti are facing actually uh this road behind me the one going straight up to the left here is actually a known unauthorized route uh, that BLM is probably aware of. They have it on their map. Uh, but these other two that you see coming off here are, are new. You know, and these hillsides is where we've been finding a lot of the, of the cacti. These roads could have taken away, they did, they have, they've, they've taken away however many square footage of habitat that those roads now occupy. Unfortunately, uh, this is a big problem in this ACEC that we're finding is just route proliferation. They're everywhere here. They're, <laughs> this is just one example that we're seeing here, a really good example, but you know, this is, this is constant throughout this area. And like we've talked about, this is something that could be addressed with education, with, uh, you know, just sort of encouraging more people to take notice about what they're doing. You know, there's no, there's no knocking OHV, there's no knocking the people because frankly, they don't know what's out here. You know, we, <laughs> we want to do stuff like this, like what, what we're doing now to try and explain to people that if you just stop and look and you know, see what's out here, you might find something you love. And you might, you know, that might be the thing that causes you to look a little closer when you're out here and that's all that needs to happen. And if that could happen, then maybe we'll be in a better place altogether. You know, little small things that happen here and there cumulatively impact these things in a way that they can't rebound.